Welcome to the Spiritual Cafe. Today we've got Christine Knappman with us, and Christine is going to share something about her experience with the Lord. Well, I grew up in a Catholic church, and Mom always made sure that we attended Mass every single Sunday. You weren't allowed to get away from that, and I guess it was there that I learned about God. Mom taught us our prayers every night. We said our prayers before we went to bed. And, um, well, in the Catholic Church, you know that we have uh, the rosary, and we said that uh, every single night that was said in our house. So I grew up knowing the Lord but not really knowing the Lord, if you know what I mean. Uh, when, I, when we moved home in 1983, that's when I started going to the Salvation Army. And I really loved it. I loved the songs. I loved the unity. It seemed like everybody was happy. And I left the Salvation Army in Laurel Island for a good many nights crying because I wanted to give my heart to the Lord but I was involved in a lot of other things and the devil had a hold of my life but in 86 I went to the altar and I gave my heart to the Lord but the devil still had a hold of me I was an alcoholic and in 91, I ended up being hospitalized. And I started seeing a counselor. But then in November of uh, the following, no, I think it was in September of the following year, I relapsed again. And I went back to drinking again. But in November of 92, uh, I remember that uh, Richard realized what I was doing again and so he he wanted me to call my counselor so I did and, and she told me to she asked me if I still was interested in church and I told her yes and so she asked me to call my pastor and to get him to come in and so I called him and he came in and I told him I was at the time my stomach was in nap I was crying I couldn't stop and I told him what I was doing, and and I asked him for forgiveness, and, and he told me, he said, Christine, it's not me mm -hmm. that has to forgive you. He said, I forgive you, but he said, it's Jesus who has to forgive you. And when he said those words, I felt peace. Mm -hmm. And the knots in my stomach just went away. Mm -hmm. And I stopped crying. Mm -hmm. And... Everything was great, and I called my sisters, my sister Betty and my sister Winnie. They uh, stood by me. They supported me, and I haven't looked back since. And in that, in November of 92, was when I really gave my heart to Jesus. And my chorus has always been, oh, the peace my Savior gives, peace I never knew before, and my way has brighter grown since I've learned to trust in you. So we said November of 92. So that means you're, uh, well, they got 20 years old. Yes, 20 years old. There you go. I, I knew there was something about you, but uh, <laughs> I didn't realize you were that young. Uh -huh. But it's, it's a good experience to have. It is. It's a good experience. It is, and I'll advise anybody who has an addiction, don't try to give it up on your own. Mm -hmm. Come to Jesus, and he'll do it for you. Well, that's an interesting testimony that you have, and we thank you for sharing it in that way. And God bless you. Have a good day. God bless you.